And here we go. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, see, it's fun to say good morning after we've been talking for a few minutes, isn't it? It's kind of strange. We heard about band-aids on foreheads and falling in the driveway and breaking arm. Eleanor, did you really say you broke your arm? Yeah. Oh my, but it's all they took the cast off already now? Yeah, it was like in April. Okay. I didn't realize that you'd broken your arm. Well, I'm wondering. Now, some of you haven't been to school yet, but those of you who have been to school, have you ever started in a new school before? Yes. Where you've had to change schools? We're going to go to Cooper. Are you going to go to Cooper? Yeah. That's exciting. Closer to our home. Yeah, it's closer to your home, huh? So when you get to a new class and everybody else knows each other, what, what do you wish they would do to help you feel welcome? Is there anything that you wish they would do to help you feel welcome? Or maybe they did? Or how about this? Have any of you had a new student in your class? Had somebody new show up in your class? And did your teacher just say, okay, just be nice? And that was all you had to do? Or what did, what, did, what did they want you to do for that new person in your class? What was the nice thing to do for them? What, Jackson? Um, she had us like introduce ourselves, but she kind of like knew our names and stuff. Yeah, she wanted you to introduce yourself so that the new person would know who you are and they would feel more welcome, wouldn't they? They would feel like you cared about them if you came up and told them your name and asked them to play a game or something maybe. It's more than just smiling and being nice. It's, it's going out of your way to be nice. This morning, well, actually Sunday morning, um, we're going to read a reading from G where Jesus talks to his disciples again. And he, and he says that you should give a visitor a, a nice cold cup of water. That's how you welcome somebody. Now, that doesn't seem like much for us. But in Jesus' time, they didn't have a refrigerator to keep their water cold. They didn't have ice cubes to put in their water to get it cold. To get a cold cup of water meant they had to go out of their way and go to the well and get some clear, fresh, cold water from the well to give this visitor a drink of water, a drink of cold water. So Jesus said to go out of your way to welcome somebody, to show somebody your love. And that's kind of what you do when you welcome somebody into your classroom. And you go out of your way to go and say, hi, my name is Jackson. Do you want to play with me? Or hi, my name is Rachel. Do you want to play with me? Or hi, we're Adeline and Brienne. Do you want to play with us? That's how you show somebody love. You go out of your way to be nice to them. And so that's what God wants us to do. Not just to say, oh, we love everybody. Because we want to make sure everybody knows that we love them. So we go to people that we don't know and we say, how can we help you? What can we do for you today? How can I help you? How can I, do you want to play with me? You know, if you're, you have a new person in school, you go and say, do you want to play with me? God wants us to go out of our way to show everybody that they're welcome. God wants us to go out of our way to, to go to each person and say, you're welcome here. We do that in church. When we were worshiping together in church and we'd have a new person in church, people would go up to them and go out of their way and say, hi, welcome to church. And that's what we are we're called to do. But it's not just that. Sometimes we go out of our way to love everybody. Um, do any of you ever wear one of these? Yeah. Well, we're going to go to our Grandma Terry's and we're going to go to a restaurant. Yeah, and you might wear one of these, huh? Yeah, when I go, are. Yeah, when I go to any store, some stores say you have to wear a mask, some don't. But when I go to any store or any place out, out of my house, if I'm going to go inside someplace, I always put a mask on. And it's not because I think I'm sick right now, but it's just in case I might be sick. I don't want to get somebody else sick. But it's also my way of showing I care about you. It's my way of going out of my way to say I care about you when I wear a mask. And I think that's a good reason to wear a mask. It's a good way of showing love. It's an odd, we never thought of that before, but 
it's a good way to show love for other people. We can go out of our way to wear a mask. So when you get to school, and I sure hope you get to school in a few months, you go out of your way to show people you care for them. Go out and tell them your name and ask them to play with you. And, and, and wear one of these when you go out and, and show everybody how much you care. Go out of your way to show everybody how much you care for them, okay? Will you say a prayer with me? Will you all? Will you repeat after me, please? Dear God, Dear God. Thank you for today. Thank you for today. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for loving us. You went out of your way. You went out of your way. And sent Jesus. And sent Jesus. Help us go out of our way. Help us go out of our way. To show people. To show people. To show people. That we love them. That we love them. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.